So let's talk about Amy. I did want to talk about um, your um, independent label, which is called Northwind Records, or North, yeah, Northwind Records. Twenty-two years you've had this label, um, and so this is almost like the complete opposite of being a songwriter, right? Completely other end of the spectrum musically. <laughs> And I, I, I love this story because that means you guys both have a different passion, but you're still within the music business. So tell us about Northwind and how it came to be. Well, let's see. Uh, I was wearing all of the hats anyway in terms of recording and producing and some mixing and graphics and websites and, you know, all the trying to book all the all the hats that go in and around trying to support a musical artist and so it seemed like well all right we're gonna put these albums together um we need a label and why not start our own so northwind was born out of that primarily to support michael's albums um northwind's had a few other projects along the way but that wasn't really the focus so it's been uh it's just it's just kind of organically grew in that nature and, and one of the things with it was was when i was younger before i i knew amy i was signed to a pretty good sized label that that it wasn't a great experience a bunch of money was sent uh, spent starting to record the label went out of business the money was lost and uh and when we sort of came back with this together it was we're going to keep control self-invest and yeah well, well you know that's what work. we were, were pretty pretty believers in ourselves and independent people so we said i don't see how this should change and you know and amy ran with it so amy you must be one of those types much much like myself where if you need to know something you learn it right i have to know how to do that so i'm going to learn it and that's just the way it is <laughs> right you just go out and you learn it Pretty much, pretty much. You got it. Okay, we need to get sound so we can both hear and speak on this interview. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Exactly Let's right. Keep plugging in there. Well, <laughs> I don't know. You saw that. The songwriter backed away, and Amy took over, and and then it happened. You know. Yeah, absolutely. No, I get it. And and just being an independent anything, a lot of things are going to come up like that that you just have to learn on the fly. If 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 you're not good at social media, learn it. If you're not good at PR, learn it. You're not good at distribution. Yep. Learn it because nobody else is going to do that for you, right? So that that yeah, had to yeah, be yeah. kind of the kind of the the um, I can't even think of the word for it now, but like that's going to be the motivation behind that, right? Sure. And then you you go through that and you learn where your um, preferences or your strengths are, and but yet you've learned what you need in a team member, so you're better able to uh, go find that team member for your crew. Right. And is that is that more or less like, you know, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. And so, I mean, you just I mean, just self identifying is a really good talent to have. Right. Yes. Well, I think you're always learning and you're always learning new strengths and new weaknesses. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and they, may, they may evolve. But yes, no, that's that's definitely key. You need to need to recognize and we definitely share their place. Yeah, I think we complement each other well that way. It says he's stronger and I'm not, and vice versa. And as a couple, knowing, you know, well, not necessarily, I guess the word knowing is not right. Respecting each other's expertise is probably super important for your business relationship because you have the personal relationship, but you also have this business relationship too that's super important. Um, and and I, I imagine you guys have to separate that at, at times, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep, yep. You know, there's for us personally. When you when you go to sea, say when you're in a even if you're not in a storm, but if you're not in good weather, and and you have in order to be able to go to sleep when there's only two people running a boat, there's no breaks at sea. It's 24 hours a day. Um, you know, you have to trust that person 100 percent. Otherwise, you can't sleep, and you need sleep because when it's your watch, you've yeah. got to be alert. But there, there, uh, and and I think a lot of it comes from our time uh, at sea, learning to absolutely, without a doubt, uh, trust that other person's judgment and and what's going on in the moment. That's 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 theirs, and you have to believe in them. Yeah, and and trust implicitly, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. And so it sounds like sailing has taught you guys a lot of life lessons along the way as well um, that you are applying to your relationship. That's awesome to hear, honestly. Yep, yeah, Mother yeah. Nature still <laughs> rules. You know, when you, I'll tell you what, when you think um, you get a call that you've been Grammy nominated, well, all you have to do to get humble is take the boat sailing. Because Mother Nature's going to slap you down probably in the first hour, and you're going to go, okay, I'm not a big deal. Okay, I'm yep. just, you know. All so of a sudden, you I, are I, a speck again. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the truth. And and I, I, I like that, because it's one of the things I don't like about the music business. You have to have pretty good ego to go out there and just putting it out all the time and and you know you hear way more no's than you hear yeses so you have to push but for us and for me particularly i'll speak for me it's just so healthy to go to sea and 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 be able to get away from that ego you know, right. just get away from that and just be at sea. Man, it's so funny you put it in those terms because as a songwriter, you have to be so vulnerable to be good, right? If you aren't vulnerable, then you're not going to resonate with a listener. But then on the other side of the coin, once you're done being vulnerable, you've written a song, now you have to be absolutely tenacious to get your art out there. And yeah. that's absolutely the opposite of being vulnerable. It is. It's hard. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You, you've, you've probably put it the best I've heard it put. Yeah, that's inc 